On July 20, 1969, the whole world watched as American astronaut Neil Armstrong took his famous One Small Step for Man, One Giant Leap for Mankind. Now, 50 years later, the Vatican still remembers that awe filled moment. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This was Pope Paul VI, the day the first man stepped foot on the moon. Like many world leaders, he watched and cheered on NASA astronauts from the Vatican's observatory, where scientists and philosophers still study today. On the day of the first moon landing, Pope Paul VI came to one of the telescopes of the Vatican Observatory at Castel Gandolfo, where I now live. He was in the dome of the Schmidt telescope. He looked at the moon through the telescope, and then he watched the TV coverage of the landing. And once they knew the astronauts had landed safely, he made a t televised address to Italy, and then he actually sent a message to the astronauts, a greeting. His greeting was from Psalm 8, praising God for the conquerors of the moon. While the Pope thought of them, the astronauts thought of the Vatican, bringing its flag with them along with the U.S. flag. The evidence is still on display with a bit of moon rock they brought back. Both science and the Catholic Church, they're on the same team. They're in search of truth and just different ways of getting at the truth. So I think ultimately it comes down to that. The church is on the side of whoever is seeking the truth. This mission for finding the truth also led to another Catholic value, universal unity. Despite differences, every world leader was rooting for the astronauts all together in one common global project to reach the moon. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this earth are truly one. While there's still much to be explored, the memory of hope, unity, amazement, and papal support for space travel is still remembered in the Eternal City 50 years later. At the Vatican, Melissa Butts, Currents News.